Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this home page using Figma. And uh, this is our progress as of now. We have designed the hero section of our website. Now in this video, we will design this testimonial section and then we will design this our courses section. So let's get started. Now the first thing we will do is we will group all of this and uh, let's select all of these elements and uh, let's press Ctrl G or you can just right click over here and click on group selection and let's rename this to hero section. Right now let's increase the height of this frame so let's select this frame and let's increase the height. Right now let's start with the testimonial section so here we can see we have these two testimonial cards over here. So let's go back and uh, we have already created a component for the testimonial cards. So if you scroll up, here we can see we have this component already created. So let's add the component over here. So let's go over here to assets and uh, let's drag this component over here. And this is our first testimonial. Now we need to set the width of this testimonial card. So for that, let's enable the layout grid. So let's select this frame. And here we can see we have hidden the layout grid. So let's unhide it. And now let's position this uh, testimonial card over here to the left. And let's decrease the width and let's set it till here. Alright, this is the first testimonial. Now let's add the text over here. So I'll just add this text. So I just updated the text and uh, we already have the name over here. Now you can go ahead and add your own image over here. So you can just double click over here and uh, just go to this uh, image and you can choose your image from here. But I'll just keep this image. And now let's duplicate this and bring it down. So I'll just press Alt and drag it down over here. Now this second testimonial should be positioned a little bit to the right. So here we can see in the original design it is positioned to the right. Now let's change the background color of this uh, testimonial. So I'll just go over here and I'll just double click. And I'll just select this color and uh, I'll just choose this color right here. And we'll also change the name and the company name. So here we have Jacob Jones and designer Facebook. So let's add that over here. And we also need to change the image. So I'll just double click over here. And I'm going to use a plugin. So I'll just right click over here and go to plugins. And then click on pixels. And here I'll just type person. And let's select this image right here. And let's also update this text. So here we have amazing work. Well done. Alright, that's it with the two testimonial cards. Now let's add this background shape over here. So for that let's create a rectangle. I'll just create a rectangle over here. And uh, I'll just set the width to 28 pixels. And we'll also set the corner radius to 24. And I'll just increase uh, the height over here. And let's change the background color. So I'll just select this color right here. And now we need to send this to the back of these testimonials. So for that you can just drag it down here or you can just press Ctrl and uh, left square brackets to bring it down and I'll just decrease the height a little bit. Let's see what is the space between these two elements. Let's set it to 50 pixels. I'll decrease the height a little bit. I'll just move it to the right a little bit. Alright, that's it with the left part of our testimonial section. So I'll just select all of this and I'll just group it. And here I'll just type testimonials left. Right now let's create the right portion of this testimonial section. So here we have the heading and we have some text over here and then we have this button. So for the heading we already have created a component. So let's go over here to assets and let's drag this heading over here and just make sure that the platform is set to desktop. And here I'll just change this text to what our students say. Right, let's increase the width of this uh, heading and I think this looks alright. Now let's copy this text from here because uh, the styling of this text is the same as this text over here. So I'll just double click over here and copy this and I'll just go over here to the bottom and paste it down here. And uh, let's change the color of the text to the dark color. And let's also increase the width of this text layer. And now let's change the text. Alright, so I have changed the text. Now let's go ahead and add this button. So for the button, we already have a component. So I'll just drag this over here. 
and we need to have a light button so let's change the dark to light so I'll just click on this switch over here and I'll just change the text to learn more right now let's position this correctly so I'll just move this up a little bit and I think this looks alright and let's move this button up a little bit and I think 30 pixels looks alright right now let's select all of this and let's group it and I'll just rename this to testimonials right right now let's select both of this and uh, let's align them to the center so I'll just click on this button called align vertical centers and now let's group all of this and uh, we'll just name it testimonial section right now let's add a spacing of 100 pixels between the hero section and this testimonial section so if you press alt we can see that we have a spacing of 98 pixels so I'll just bring it down two steps right now let's hide the layout grid and let's see how it looks and it looks alright now let's go ahead and design this section over here called our courses so the first thing we will do is we'll copy this background rectangle over here so it is the same color as this hero section so I'll just select this and I think we have locked it so let's unlock this and I'll just double click over here and select this rectangle and I'll just copy this press ctrl C and I'll just scroll down and I'll just paste it over here and now here we can see we have this rectangle I'll just bring it inside the frame right now let's move this rectangle up and we will have a spacing of 100 pixels between these two sections so you can just press shift and press the up arrow to move it 10 pixels to the top right now we can see we have a spacing of 100 pixels from the previous section now let's add a heading over here so here we can see we have this heading our courses so I'll just go over here to assets and we already have created this uh, component so I'll just drag it over here and we need to have a white heading so I'll just go over here to dark and click on this switch and now we can see we have a white heading and here we need to type our courses so I'll just change this text and I'll just increase the width of this heading and we'll just bring it to the center so I'll just click on align horizontal centers and we also need to center the text so I'll just double click over here and here inside text I'll just select text align center and now here we will have a spacing of 70 pixels from the top so I'll just bring it down and now let's go ahead and add these two course cards so let's go over here to assets and let's drag this component over here and we'll just position it to the left and I think we can increase the width a little bit so I'll just set the width to I think 526 looks alright now let's duplicate this and bring it to the right and let's select both of this and let's move it up a little bit I think this looks alright now the next thing we need to do is add this button so I'll just go over here and drag this component and we need to have a light button so I'll just click on dark and let's change the text to all courses and that looks alright and here from the button we will have a spacing of 70 pixels right now we have a spacing of 90 pixels so I'll just decrease the height you can just press ctrl and press the up arrow and now we can see we can decrease the height in this way and uh, let's bring it down a little bit more right now we have a spacing of 70 pixels now let's go ahead and change some of these details so here we have game design essentials and uh, we also need to change the image so I'll just double click over here and right click and go to plugins and select pixels and uh, let's type game and I'll just select this image right here now for the next card we have a title of unity game engine fundamentals so let's change that over here and now we need to move this down a little bit so I'll just select this button and move it down and we also need to increase the height of this rectangle alright now we can see that both these cards have different heights so what we can do is we'll just add an empty line over here so I'll just press enter and now we can see we have the same height for both these cards 
So that's basically it with our courses section. So I'll just select all of this. And let's group this. And I'll just name this courses section. And this is how our website looks right now. We have the hero section, we have the testimonial section and also the courses section. Now in the next video, we will design this get our app section and also this footer. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.